Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out the latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which is KB5050081. And this is more or less the same update I posted on a couple of days ago when it was being finalized in the release preview channel and has now made its way to the stable version. And the update is optional, so you don't have to install it unless you have this toggle turned on which will then make it a mandatory update. And if you do decide to install the update, which I don't suggest, um, if your machine is running fine, I wouldn't install any optional updates that rolled out near the end of the month if you are having no problems with your device. And that's because sometimes these updates can cause issues because they are preview updates. And the update, as mentioned, once it's installed, 5050081 will be placed under quality updates. Now, it rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 28th of January. And just to go through a couple of the key highlights that Microsoft has listed from the change log. Now, like it or not, as I've mentioned, when it was still in preview, it now force installs the new Outlook app. And I've posted a whole video on that and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen where Microsoft says you, you now have the new Outlook for Windows app. A new app icon appears in the apps section on the start menu near classic Outlook. There are no changes to any settings or defaults. So if you didn't have the, um, the new Outlook before this update and you do decide to install the update, you will now be greeted with the new Outlook in your all apps list um, in the start menu. But go check that other video out for more info. And then regarding the snipping tool, there's a fix for screen capture. Where Microsoft says the capture service and snipping tool were had stopped responding. And this occurs when you press Windows logo key shift and S, which is your shortcut to take a screenshot several times while the narrator is on. But I think that will be affecting more the minority than the majority of people. And then we have a known issue that's been addressed where they have fixed the digital analog converter DAC known issue and I've posted on this yesterday and if you want more information I'll also leave that video link down below and in the end screen where that known issue now has been fixed and Microsoft says the problem was you might experience issues with USB audio devices. This is more likely when you use a DAC audio driver based on USB 1. USB audio devices might stop working, which stops playback, and I'm glad to see they have rolled out a fix for that. And if you have experienced that issue, let me know if this update has fixed the issue on Windows 10. I'd be interested to know um, um, the reality and the practicalities of the actual fix out there. And then there's also USB audio device drivers that have been fixed, where there was a code 10 error message where it said this device cannot start. And this occurs when you connect to certain external audio management devices. So that's also been an issue that's been plaguing a lot of um, Windows users. And there's another fix for USB cameras, which is also something that's been um, obviously a bug that has been causing a lot of problems out there where they fix the USB cameras where apparently your device does not recognize the camera is on. And this occurs after you install the January 2025 security update. So it's nice to see with this update that Microsoft is rolling out fixes especially for that DAC known issue. And it's nice to see that those have been addressed. Now, those are the key highlights. And if you want to stick around, uh, just to let you know um, about one or two other fixes that you might be interested in that this non-security update also includes. And there's a fix for virtual memory where apparently there was an issue that depleted virtual memory which might cause some apps to fail. And that's quite an important fix because virtual memory is quite an important part of the Windows operating system. And I'll leave a video on virtual memory linked down below in the end screen as well if you'd like some more info. And then the last one just to mention, there's a fix for USB print and RPP over USB where an, and install printer fails when the spoolie initializes. And there's some other under the hood fixes which I don't think would be of any interest to your average home user. And this update is optional as mentioned. So if you do decide to install the update, if we head to Winver, just to get our About Windows dialog and menu, to have a look at the build update. 
And for Windows 10, 22H2, the OS build after the update has been installed is now sitting on build 19045.5540. And just on a side note, I have noticed that the new calendar that was part of the the um, update when it was still in preview where there was a new calendar with some cosmetic changes for um, Windows 10 didn't roll out. So Microsoft hasn't pushed that out with this update, although it was in preview a couple of days ago. So that's quite an interesting one. And it's going to be interesting to see if they actually roll out that new calendar, but I'll keep you posted if I get wind of that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.